You have your root and, and then your octave. And that's true all the way up and down the fretboard. Like people, people know that, you know, just from learning songs, from learning Smashing Pumpkin songs. You know, and you gotta learn those octaves. But, you know, then we forget like, oh, well the fifth is going to be a step up and just a string over. So, so the fifth is the same thing. Like if this is G, then this is the fifth of G. It'll always be there. If this is, if this is A, then this is the fifth of A. It doesn't matter what it is. I know it's E, but it doesn't really matter because you just make that shape. Okay. So then, once you go past that, you go, where's my third? Well, okay, your third is gonna be over here, like in a bar chord. And you memorize that your third is always, always, always going to be those two strings. You skip two strings and then land over here on this third from it. And there's your third, and that's true for every major chord. G, A, B flat, you know, going to B and C, C and so on. So, okay, if you want to make it flat and make it minor, then it's going to be two, those couple strings over, three strings, and bring it down. But there's patterns to this too. Like, like uh, if you were to play the major scale, or to play like a, in a major key, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord are all major. I know where the four and the five chord are because they're always going to be like, the four chord is going to be all the way up here. So that's one, two, three, four, five frets away from the one. The four chords always five frets away from the one. You can always remember that. So wherever that is, like, and and then your five chord is always going to be six, seven, seven, seven frets away from the one. And then you can play, play your minors. Okay, so don't want to overwhelm you with a lot of 